So tomorrow night at 7.45 at the Racecourse Ground Wrexham, we take on Walsall at home. I am Sean Winter and this is The Early Show. already please hit those buttons the like the subscribe keep this channel flowing man thank you so much for the support already really appreciate it big shout out to our red army level members you guys are the best logan leroy wayne cram guys jump on the red army level let's get this army absolutely going guys thank you so much love you Okay then guys, welcome to This Is Wrexham, the early show. The new incentive we've got, just to give my predictions, my thoughts, my feelings, uh, my score predictions, my team predictions on what I think will happen the day before the events. We play Walsall tomorrow at home. Walsall have just come off the back of an impressive 2-1 win versus Stockport at home on Saturday. So, obviously, back to Saturday, it was one each. I don't know if you would have heard from the last show we did. Uh, my reaction and feedback to that. I thought we should have come away with three points. We didn't. But listen, tomorrow night is the perfect time to get three points on the board in front of a loud home crowd. And it's going to be rocking again, isn't it? Credit to the guys who went to Wimbledon. Uh, the fans against Wigan, it was rocking. And you just know tomorrow night is going to be a special atmosphere. There's always something special with Wrexham playing under the floodlights, isn't it? So the diamond in the sky will be sparkling down. Let me run through what I think my team should be. If I was Phil Parkinson, this is the team I go for tomorrow night versus Walsall at home, which, by the way, is a 7.45 kickoff. Um, first thing to say, so um, Saturday, he had Foster in goal, uh, three centre-halves, he had O'Connell, Toza, Boyle, he had Barnett and Mendy either side of that. Cannon and O'Connor. Then we seen McLean, Palmer and Lee. Um, well, what I'd like to see is something a bit different to that. And that's not... I'm not mocking any of those guys on that on that sheet. But I just, you know, for one reason or another, I'd like to see it changed. And this is the team, personally, I'd put in. This is going off the guys coming off the bench the other day from what I've seen against Wigan, from, um, from what I've seen so far this season. In goal, Ben Foster. Right back, I am going Anthony Ford. I really am going Anthony Ford. I think I think he looks sharp. I think he looks great. Every time he comes on, he makes a difference. He looks good. Time for a start. I'm going uh, O'Connell, who was, by the way, was an absolute rock. Really was a rock against Wimbledon. Yep. O'Connell. Toza. I think he started the season unbelievably. Yeah, big up toes. Claire Worth, I thought against Wigan he was superb. And I thought he shouldn't have lost his place uh, against Wimbledon. But then we needed to see Boyle as well. I thought I thought Boyle, he did look really good second half. Tough giveaway, a needless yellow card. But still, he's a, he's going to be a right player. But this is I'm going to give you my opinion. And, you know, I won't be swayed by anyone. So I, I'd like to see Clareworth in there. Mendy, after his performance against Wimbledon, I thought defensively he, he was fantastic. Going forward, really, really good. Set up the goal, almost set up another one. Yeah, so Mendy goes there. Right, a bit of a change for me. The three midfielders I'm going to go for is Davis, John Davis. He looks like he can change a game. He looked good when he started against Wigan. I'd really like to see him start against uh, against Walsall tomorrow night. You knew it was coming, didn't you? Luke Young, put the bugger in the give give us Youngy, give us Luke Young with the armband on, underneath the diamonds in the sky, spurring the Red Army onto victory. Yes, 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 yes. Luke Young starts. For me. And then Elliot Lee. I thought he was quiet first. I know he scored, but I thought he was quiet first half against Wimbledon. Second half, I thought he was at it. He was ratty. He was tenacious. He was looking for it. And he looked he looked quality. Get Elliot Lee back on that left-hand side. Up front, guys, I'm going to have to go to the bigger staff. I'm going to have to. I've been so impressed with him. Get him starting. Get him starting again. Uh, and I can I can foresee goals for him and, and Ollie Palmer again. I think he was a bit a little bit isolated against Wigan, but he's still put himself about very impressively. And I like the look of Palmer this season. I really, really like the look of Palmer. Okay, score prediction. Uh, I said 1-0 to Wrexham against uh, Wimbledon, so I wasn't far off. 3-0 Wrexham. Big, emphatic 3-0 win. On a Tuesday evening... The kickoff 7:45. The race course ground are rocking. 
and that will do me. I just want to give a huge shout out to Will Sudworth because he's given me his ticket for um, for the game. So I'm going with Will's mate, uh, top man. I really appreciate you. You know that, Will. You, you're, a, you're a legend. And by the way, guys, anyone who can't make a game, get in touch with me. If you've got one ticket, two ticket, three tickets, listen, I'll have it every time. Tell me what, what money you want from it. I'll sort you out. Just get in touch with me. Um, my Twitter inbox is open now. I... I thought it was. It, I, I realised the other day it was closed. Maybe I was taking too much grief off people, so I thought, right, you know what, I'm closing the inbox. But it's open now, so guys, if you if you get rid of a ticket or you can't make it to any particular game, get in touch with me, and, and I'll have it every time. And, and I really appreciate anyone who does that. Um, and any, again, anyone who wants to join me on the late show, please get in touch, guys. Get in touch. Uh, I've had a couple get in touch with this week, and they are going to be on. It's a long season. We've got loads of shows. Get in touch with me. My inbox is open. Send me your details. Tell me why you want to be involved. Chances are I'm going to know you anyway. And just come on, let's have a good a good chat about the club we love. Um, so listen, I will see you Wednesday evening for the Late Show. And let's hope we have three massive points on the board versus Warsaw at home. Come on, Red Army!